Dom Jolly's joystick. Let's face it, if you're watching this, you have a gaming addiction. You are addicted. Might be a relatively harmless, well, I can slip in one more level of Angry Birds type of addiction. Or it could be a full blown, I won't be making the birth of our firstborn type addiction. Either way, you've got yourself a problem. And like any addiction, the best thing to do is hide it. Now I'm going to assume you don't have a wife, but on the off chance that you fooled a girl into a relationship, I recommend this little ruse. Before you both go to bed, secretly fire up your computer downstairs, snuggle up for a cuddle, and just as she's drifting off, announce that, oh, my tummy's playing up. That way, she's not expecting you back, and rather than sheepishly stroking her hair or whatever form of doomed foreplay you might have otherwise attempted, you can get on with a far more important business of conquering ancient Rome or pumping some Nazi zombies full of virtual lead. Another person you need to hide your addiction from is your boss. Let's face it, those dull office hours are prime secret gaming time. So in the future, tilt your monitor away from the door, sellotape a compact mirror to the edge of your desk so you can see the bastard coming, and open up a few extra tabs that look like spreadsheets. Hey presto, Operation Click Away is a go-go. Feel free to enjoy the many forbidden fruits of the internet, and for once, I'm not talking about Wikipedia. You have spam. And if all else fails, I guess you could always admit you're an addict. Go to a self-help group filled with other Xbox living, Minecraft loving, pixel filiacs and try to wean yourself off it. But where's the fun in that? It's far better to live in denial. I mean, who's it hurting anyway? No one. That's who. Uh, unless, of course, you die of rickets because World of Warcraft made you forget to eat for a week. 